Hey there guys. Well I was with the wood pile today chopping some wood and uh, I wanted to do another project and I found this old tire um, and I've seen a lot of people uh, around the internet and other places use tires to stuff logs in uh, so they can chop them and, and kind of keep them together without them falling off a stump or, or falling away. Um, but I've also seen people use bungee cords and I kind of liked both ideas so what I want to do is combine a bungee cord and this tire to make something that I can chop various sizes of wood, anything down from one stump to several stumps, um, but also be able to hold it together and maybe even carry it. Um, and I've got a, an old uh, uh, grill handle uh, that I want to try to attach to it. So anyway, uh, let me get this uh, wall cut off and, and we'll see what we can get made. Just trying to cut along this outside line so that uh, we've got a real flexible uh, flat piece to be able to use for our, our wood caddy or our wood holder. I think I'm going to call it a wood caddy though. Anyway, super simple. Just get an X-Acto knife and, and stay away from this uh, inner, inner bead ring. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're just adding those attachment points with a little bit of this galvanized uh, wire. So I'll just take a piece like this, just give it a nice little easy bend. We'll find our next set of holes right there and there. And again, these are, uh, these are just going to be places where um, we can attach the bungee cord to make it tighter or looser uh, based on how much wood we're chopping uh, or carrying. So I got it in there like that. We'll take it on this side and we'll just use our wires to just bend it around where it's not going to pull back through. It doesn't have to be super fancy. So I don't think the wood's going to care. I'm going to make sure. So now we've got a nice little attachment for the bungee to go through. So now we have them all in and we'll give ourselves a nice little attachment points all the way around so we can uh, custom tailor this to as big of a load or, or as uh, small of a load as we need. So I got this handle uh, from a, an old barbecue uh, pit or smoker and I'm just trying to bend it to where when the tires uh, curled uh, you can get your hands around it. So. Started out uh, straight, but we just got just a little bit of a bend in it. And just line it up with this hole right here, and this should thread on through pretty well. Get our nut bolt and a little bit of Loctite. And you got a handle. All right, we're here at the wood pile, and uh, I brought it out here. So as we saw earlier, it's adjustable. As you can see, we put all those little metal loops on there to make it modular. Uh, remove that bungee, and you can make this thing uh, accept uh, several logs. Or in this case, I'm going to use it just for one log. I've got my bungee cord running through these little rings. And then, uh, but I've got the rings uh, spaced where, you know, I could hook it uh, how, whatever size I want. Right now I've just got a small, uh, but it's obviously expandable. So I'm going to set it here on my stump. And I've got a, uh, a log pre-selected. And we'll see how she works.
I'm gonna get these guys really small. Uh, this is for my kindlin pile anyway. It's nice dried wood. We'll get it there, keep that guy in. All right, so I've got it there. Keep it in here. Now I can uh, walk around with it, take it back up to the house. And as you'll see, got a uh, nice little kindling. So anyway, thanks for watching. It's the, uh, the wood caddy, or at least I think that's what I'm gonna call it.